it's Jackie Ball Heist from Clump and Stampers. I am here to do my second video in my series of getting started card making. Now I know card making can be overwhelming at first. We feel like we need so much stuff. We don't know where to begin. We start buying all of these random products and then we kind of look at them and go, what the heck do I do with all of that stuff? Well, I'm here to take that overwhelm away and show you how easy it is to make handmade cards to bless your family and friends. Now, I like to use what I call the SIP method, especially with a new crafter that's just learning to make cards. SIP stands for stamps, ink, and paper. That's all you need. You don't need all the other stuff. Get start started small with just a SIP, and then as you get your fingers inky and you start playing around and you decide this is a craft or a hobby that you're gonna stick with and continue doing, then you can step it up a little bit and start adding a little bit more of this and a little bit more of that, but still keeping it quick and easy. Nothing I do is hard, it's all quick and easy. It's just as we step it up, we use a few more supplies. So today we are going to use the Forever Fern stamp set and we're gonna pair it with Peaceful Moments. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more why once I flip the camera down, but I wanna show you how to make a SIP card. We're only using stamps, ink, and paper. And then I'm gonna show you how to easily step it up as you grow in your paper crafting abilities and supplies that you have. So are you ready to get started? Now, before we get started, I want to remind you that every single video I do has a corresponding blog post. That blog post will have pictures of the cards I make. Now, actually today I'm gonna to make one, but I'm gonna share nine with you. I'll have pictures of all of them over there, the list of the products and supplies that I use and any cutting measurements for you. So you can real easily do exactly what I do today by going to that blog post and getting all that information. So that link will be in the video description. So make sure to, ch to check it out. And then if you would like a Stampin' Up! catalog, you can request one over there as well. Or if you have any questions, make sure to reach out to me because I am here to help you, especially if card making is brand new, new to you and you want to get started. I would love to help you get started. Remember, we're starting with a sip. So let's flip the camera down and let's get started. So the first thing we need to get started with in our SIP is stamps. So today we're using Forever Fern and Peaceful Moments. One way I like to tell people to get started is pick a stamp set that has images that you like, whether it's ferns or greenery or flowers or a lighthouse or birds or trees or butterflies or whatever you like, but something with good images. Now in this case, this also has some greetings, but it doesn't cover all the occasions. So I like to pair it with a good greeting set. Peaceful Moments fits that bill for me because we have birthday, thank you, sympathy, congratulations. With these two, I can make cards for any occasion. Now the cards I'm gonna share with you, I don't even use these greetings, but they are some good ones. And in that blog post, I'll link to a few other cards that I've already made using those. But today I want to just really stress the point that a good place to start in a sip is with your stamps and these two stamp sets. A picture you like, and then the greetings. Ink is next. We need some colored ink because these images are solid images. The color is gonna come from our ink pads. So in this case, I'm using three different greens plus black. I think black's a staple. We always need a black. And then for my greens, I'm using pear pizzazz, shaded spruce and mossy meadow. I have them all open and ready here. Um, now you could certainly use other colors or not as many. I just really liked how my cards turned out using those. Now, remember I said there's a blog post. I will also have on that blog post this document that you can download that shows you everything I'm making today along with the supplies I'm using and all those colors. So make sure to use the link in the video to go over there so, to that blog post so that you can download this. I think it'll be a big help to you um, getting started stamping. Now, paper. I like to use the Stampin' Up! note cards and envelopes. They come in a package of 20, so it's perfect for getting started without, again, buying a lot of stuff. You've got your note cards, you've got your envelope, it's already cut, it's scored, making it really easy to fold in half, and you're ready to start making cards. It can't be any simpler than that. So, 
we're going to start and I'm going to make one here and then I'm going to show you some other designs. Um, remember I said this stamp set, we've got birthday, thank you, thinking of you, sympathy. We could use any of those greetings on our card. And so for today's, I think we're going to make it a thinking of you. Now I'm going to open this so it's nice and flat here. So what we're going to do, I like to stamp my greeting first in this case because I'm going to kind of try to fill this card and make it look, you know, kind of full, um, again, real simply. But I want that greeting on there first so I can work around it. Otherwise, I might not leave enough space. So we've got thinking of you. And then I already have on my clear blocks. Now you'll notice all the Stampin' Up! stamps um, in the catalog will tell you the recommended blocks. I suggest if this is something you're going to continue to do, buy the bundle so that you have one of each. And then you just clean the stamps as you go and put them on blocks as you need them. Now you'll notice mine are all on blocks already because I'm a little bit spoiled and I have lots of extra blocks. So it makes it easier for doing a video. I don't have to clean in between. Um, so we're going to start with that pear pizzazz and our larger image here. And we're going to just go ahead and put a couple of those. We'll get another one up here. Notice how I'm coming off the cardstock. So I've got my grid paper underneath just to have some good um, scrap paper. But my goal here is really just to what I call fill up the space. Okay, we want this to look like just a nice full card um, full of this beautiful greenery that we get off of this stamp set. So we've got those. And then let's go ahead and just stick a little bit of mossy meadow in here as well. You'll notice that when you use several different stamp um, pads or several different colors, it just gives you a lot of like fullness, okay? That's the main part of the card there. Now, the other thing in this stamp set, there is this little stamp that I call a speckle stamp. Um, it is exactly what it says. It makes little black speckles. I love this stamp because I feel that wherever it looks like it might be a little bit too much white space, put a couple speckles and that takes care of that. The other thing, I did get some ink on my fingers and if you look close, we got a little green right there. That's the perfect spot for a speckle because now you don't see that. Now, a couple of tips. It is real easy to get heavy handed with this and just speckle it way, 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 way too much. We want just light little speckles, a few here and a few there. Because if you put too many, it will just really overpower um, and take over your card. So there you go. You can see how I've stamped all those images on there. I've let them, you know, kind of fill up the card. It says, thinking of you with all my heart. And now when I open this up, we'll add a greeting on the inside as well. Um, again, that peaceful moments, it's so nice because we do have what I call inside and outside greetings. Now that one just barely fits. So we'll do that. And then always want to make that inside look pretty, just like our outside. So we'll add a couple of those, add a couple little black. Ooh, that's a little bit heavy. I don't think I should have put that many on there. And there is our thinking of you card. And then don't forget the envelope. We want that pretty too. So we'll go ahead and we'll stick that. This is actually, I think my favorite one. So we're gonna add one of those as well. And there we go. Thinking of you with all my heart. It is that easy to make your first card if you've never made one. Sip, stamps, ink, and paper is all we used. Now what I wanna share with you next is a couple other versions of this, as well as how easy it is to step it up by adding just a couple other products. Now, if you look at my guide that I have on the blog post, you'll see I've got the stamp sets, the ink pads, the blocks, note cards and envelopes are black, and then simple chamois. Um, the Simply Chamois is a way for you to clean your stamps. It is what it says, it's a chamois. You get it wet, you wring it out. Um, it eventually gets super stained and ugly, but that's okay. But that's how you can clean your stamps. You wanna just kind of wipe them on there or you can pick it up in your hand as well and get all of that ink off of there. So those are the things that I feel you absolutely need to get started. Now, 
So the first way that we're gonna step up our cards is by adding a layer of cardstock. We're gonna still use those same note cards and envelopes, but this time we do have, we purchase, we'll make believe, a package of basic white and mossy metal. And I'm choosing this because it is one of the colors of the inks we use. And we are gonna cut a layer. So instead of stamping directly onto our note card, we are going to stamp on the layer instead and add it on there just for a little extra touch. Now, the front of our note card is three and a half by five. So for this, I wanna cut it a half inch smaller. So we are going to cut it at three by four and a half. So if we were to layer that, I'll just show you step by step here. It would just go on our card like so but we gotta make it pop and we wanna see it. So we're gonna take our mossy metal piece here and we're gonna go just an eighth of an inch bigger than what I cut this one. So instead of three, we're gonna go three and an eighth. And instead of four and a half, we're gonna come out here to four and five eighths. So now these pieces, We'll have a nice little green border around it. And when we add it to the card, it's gonna add so much. And then this just becomes cardstock to use later on. So here you can see, I did basically the same layout, but this time I just added these layers of cardstock onto that note card. And it just, it steps up our card so much just by adding that cardstock. Same look for the inside. And now look at the difference on that. So all we did is we started with just our sip. We add a little bit more cardstock. So technically it's still a sip. Now we're gonna go one step further and I'm not gonna make this card for you, but this just shows how you can really step these up by adding a couple other things. We're gonna add a little bow. I love to use linen thread. It is my favorite um, ribbon, if you wanna call it ribbon. It's easy to tie, it lays pretty flat. Um, so we added that on there. We added a couple of the, um, oh, what do they call these? Matte, matte metallic or something like that. It, it's on the blog post, check that out. Um, dots on there. And then I did use the coordinating dies. Now, if you use the dies, you also need to have a stamp and cut and emboss machine. So at this point, you're really committing that this is going to be a fun hobby of yours. But you'll see, I was able to stamp these two images on that basic white cardstock, cut it out with dies. I also cut one out using that Mossy Meadow cardstock, and I was able to layer those on there with dimensionals. And look at how much that steps up my card. Again, the inside's the same. So you can see how we started real simple. We add a little bit more. It's a beautiful card. I'd be proud to send that. Actually, I make a lot of cards like that and send them. And then if I really want to make it special, I was able to put the die cuts on there and step it up that way. So that's how you start with a sip and step it up. Now I want to show you a few others. So we have the exact same idea here. We just used happy birthday inside and outside. And then we stepped it up by adding that layer, same thing. And then let's see, there's our envelope. And here is one step further. And again, we've got our little dots, our linen bow, and then some die cut images that are popped up with dimensionals. And it really makes a beautiful card. So started small and we stepped it up. One more for you. Same concept here. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Using that basic design and just stepping it up by adding our die cuts on that one. Now, this is a, a principle and a way I teach stamping using whatever stamp set you want. Remember, I said pick out a stamp set that you like and then build your colors and your cardstock off of that. So previously I did a video and I will link this one um, in the blog post and also down in this video, but you can see the same idea. We use sending smiles and we started with just three different colors of ink plus black. We stepped it up. I guess this one, I don't remember how I intended. Actually, I think I intended for it to go, it's been a while, this way. Um, stepped it up with just those layers 
and then stepped it up one more time by using rhinestones. There's a little linen bow, and these images were cut out with a die, or in this case, you really could cut it with a scissors and popped them up with dimensionals. So you'll find the links to this post as well. But I hope you understand or learned um, how we start with a sip, stance, ink, and paper, and can easily step it up to make more cards. I hope this was helpful for you, especially if you are a brand new card maker. I am here to help you. You're not in this alone. I love to teach, I love to share. Make sure to reach out to me if I can help you in any way or answer any questions. And check out the links in the video description to find the blog post where all the details, supplies, and pictures of these cards, plus the other one as well. Thanks for watching, friends, and we'll be stamping again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.